Welcome to your weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ market site. As the week progressed, shock, sadness, and anger over the Boston Marathon bombings turned into unsettled anticipation. With the proliferation of mobile gadgets, Americans followed the latest developments on social media and on TV screens. Throughout the week, all eyes were on breaking news alerts and conflicting reports about who was responsible for the bombings. Now, Boston and Watertown, Massachusetts remained on lockdown as many in the East Coast uh, woke up. Now, updates about the manhunt were lapped up. This week's events showed us how far technology has come in the past few years. Our mobile gadgets capture images and footage help us update and digest all the news in all forms and of course stay connected. And while many of us were glued to social media sites and breaking news reports for updates, a key internet privacy bill passed a House vote on Thursday. Now the House of Representatives passed CISPA, the controversial Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act. This is not a done deal as it still requires Senate as well as presidential approval. It goes without saying that there are partisan divides over the role of government in cyberspace. Now, basically, CISPA would allow the government to work with companies to fight cyber criminals and hackers on a national as well as international level. Companies can share information with the government about its users in real time. Concerns remain over legal protections and there is a fine line between privacy and security. And at the end of the week, Anonymous announced an internet blackout in protest of CISPA. The group spread the message of its 24-hour blackout that will take place on Monday, April 22nd. The Hacker Collective is calling for this online protest by asking that websites go dark. And this does not involve an actual shutdown of the internet. In January of 2012, over 7,000 websites participated in a blackout protest. And next week, earnings will be closely monitored. Uh, next week's earnings from the key tech giants include Apple. On Tuesday, the company will report fiscal second quarter earnings. And also worthy of mention, Apple shares did tumble this week following below the $400 a share level. The Cupertino, California-based company has fallen far from its peak above $700 a share, which was back in September of 2012. Now, forecasts do call for earnings of $10.03 per share on revenue of $42.45 billion. Apple also lost its top spot as the most valuable company and was surpassed again by ExxonMobil. That does wrap it up for a weekly technology segment from the NASDAQ market site. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend.